Hey, everybody! We are live for our daily devotional. And as you can see here, this is going to be my outline. So, with this outline with announcements, um, I have some announcements I want to share with you. So, I want to share with you um, about our YouTube channel. Uh, we just started one up. It is brand new. Um, it is called Salem Church Sparta. So you can Google it. And we have posted the past two services um, on there. We put the Monday Thursday service. So if you didn't get to watch that live on Facebook, um, you can still do that by going to YouTube. And then also, when it comes to um, our YouTube channel, I am posting, after all our videos have been live on Facebook, I am posting them on our YouTube channel. So if you know anyone that does not have Facebook or doesn't want to create a Facebook account, they can use YouTube and they can check out the videos on there. Um, you can play those on your TV in Roku. Um, and it's just another option for people who don't have Facebook. So you can spread the word with that. Send an email out about it. Send a text. If you could spread the word to everybody, that would be great. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, another announcement that I have for you that I want to share is um, we have uh, no on-site services at this point um, because of the 10 or less rule. Um, so Sunday morning we have people helping us with the live, um, but we um, aren't supposed to have more than 10 people. So I'd appreciate it if, uh, if you spread the word. I, I know a lot of people are respecting that, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, so uh, no, no meeting on site um, from this point on until things are better and restrictions are left out. So keep wearing your mask and being smart and gloves. Um, and washing your hands and doing all those awesome things. Also, um, I want to share with you um, a couple of announcements. Uh, we had our youth group today, and we did it on Zoom again. And I don't know if you're using Zoom, but Zoom is a great, 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 great resource for you to use. This is me on Zoom with some students in our youth group. I don't know if you can see that well. But that's us uh, on Zoom, and this is me, actually pretty funny. Um, I am um, letting the students pick what I s smear all over my face each week, and the students um, smeared this onto my face. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Yep, yep, that is cheddar cheese all over my face hello diane welcome glad you joined us and good evening from maxine and diane hey maxine's with you great 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 glad she's with you i'm just sharing about the students seeing cheese on zoom today that i smeared all over my face so you can laugh at me and that um so that is what I've been doing, 3 p.m. every parent, so you know, 3 p.m. every Wednesday, we're gonna have youth group on Zoom. Love for you uh, to join me, spread the word with students and let them know. All right, so um, I, uh, I think that's about it for the announcements. Just YouTube is now available. Also, Zoom at 3 p.m. Oh, one more, we are using a program called Discord. Will Casey came up with the idea. Um, for us to have chat and voice talk for people who don't have good internet. Students can join us on Sundays after the live Facebook um, video. We are going to be doing Discord um, from 11.30 to 12.30 on Sunday. So if any students or youth or parents want to participate in that, they'd love to have you join us. All right, so that is the announcements. We talked about Facebook. We talked about Discord. We talked about Zoom. And that is all the announcements that I have. Now we're moving to prayer and prayer requests. Welcome, Matthew. Glad you joined me. Uh, Matthew, um, if you have any prayer requests or praises, please put those in there. Oh, Elaine's watching. Great. Welcome. Gail, welcome. Um, yes, I got the cheese out of my beard. I was able to do that. You are correct. Um, and it's starting to grow pretty good. So, um, so yeah, 
Um, and it's a holy beard too because um, as you can see here doesn't grow on my birthmark here so I call it a holy beard so it's it's spiritual beard <laughs> I'm sure that made you laugh <laughs> Gail so anyways um, so prayer requests and praises if you have any of those please comment below um, and share your praises and prayer requests um, or any updates of anything going on continue to pray for CJ um, I know Ray Simak is recovering uh, things are going well um, with uh, Keith Gale huge praise with him so just keep praying uh, for our church members encouraging each other try to contact each other maybe through text message phone calls uh, every day or any way you can even through social media if you are able to um, my prayer requests um, the first one is I am still learning technology um, I am there's just so much to learn trying to figure out all these things so if you just pray for me as I'm just trying to navigate through all these things trying to um, you know have our website up our YouTube our Facebook Instagram um, potentially starting other things for the youth ministry uh, just be in prayer for me for that because um, I, I need your prayers please please pray um, a praise for me is um, my family has been pulling up weeds that have needed to be pulled up for a long time in our yard and our home so praise Jesus for that so if you have any prayer requests or praises again comment below anytime and share those prayer requests or praises love to hear those from any of you all right so um, I would like to share um, a daily devotional with you now um, and encourage you with the scriptures and as I've been spending time with God in the Word this past week and praying and thinking about what to share, uh, there's so many different things I want to share. Um, but as I prayed and thought about it, the passage I wanted to share was in, as you can see here, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. And I want to share with you um, and read the scriptures and talk about that. So, let's dig in. Hey, welcome Peggy. Glad you joined. Um, and we are in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10 for the daily devotional today. All right, so here we go. My grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. Therefore, I will most gladly boast all the more about my weakness, so that Christ's power may reside in me. So I take pleasure in weaknesses, insults, catastrophes, persecutions, and in pressures because of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Mm, mm, isn't that good? Mm, I love it. So I have five pages here. So this devotion is going to be like four or five hours. Sorry, Diane and Matthew and Lane and Peggy and Gail and everybody else watching. I'm just kidding, actually. It's just, just two pages here. So um, first thing I want to do is I want to share with you uh, some pictures of my son lately. Because, again, uh, last week I did Blessings in Disguise and Mercies in Disguise. And um, this is my son holding a basketball. And as you can see, the basketball is about as big as he is. And when it comes to my son in this basketball, he cannot shoot it in the goal at all. And the Whitakers actually just gave me a goal, which was really cool. And we are shooting hoops. And the funniest thing about my son is he wants to shoot like Daddy does, which I can dunk it because it's low enough for me to reach. And so I've been picking my son up and letting him shoot. Now, there's no way on earth my son could make a shot with that big ball. He is too weak to throw it. I mean, he can barely throw it three inches. He's just like, mm. right? So I, he holds the ball, and I pick him up, right? And so I use my strength so he can achieve scoring the shot and making the basketball. And here's another example, quick illustration I want to give is my son, when uh, he was really little, I would let him, we'd go out and walk around, look at the leaves and play with sticks and things. And I broke a stick one time and he couldn't break the stick. 
Um, he tried, and so he gave it to me, and then I broke it and gave it to him. He's like, oh, thanks, and then he played drums with it. But this is my son with a stick, and I had broken the stick, and this is him trying to break the stick, which is hilarious. And you can see him there, and he's holding the stick, and he's he can't break it. You, you, as you can see from that picture, there is no way my son can break that stick. No way on earth. He's too weak. He's way too weak. He can't break it. And when I think about this devotional and this passage of Scripture right here, that Jesus' strength is made perfect in my weakness, I think about my son in this illustration, that this stick is super hard and he can't break it. But see, it doesn't matter if he's weak, because he has a daddy that will break it for him. And it's the same thing with our God. Jesus Christ, strength, is perfect in our weakness. No matter how weak we are, Jesus Christ is strong. And we can depend upon him no matter how weak we are. So I just want to share three quick points about this. And as I've been chewing on it and thinking about it. Uh, so the first one is, is the verse says, My grace is sufficient for you. Right? So we can't remove our weaknesses. My son can't remove the fact that he can't break a stick. He can't remove the fact that he can't throw the ball, right? But he can depend upon me. He can trust me, right? So don't worry if you're struggling with something right now. Don't, don't worry if you are stressed out about something. Don't worry if you're weak. Don't worry if you're not enough. Don't worry. Because Jesus Christ is sufficient, right? Amen? Hey, Philip, welcome. Yes, Jesus Christ is sufficient. So, because he's sufficient, he is strong when we are weak, right? It's so simple. And, and I think I struggle with this when I get caught up in my emotions, when I get caught up in the circumstance or the difficulty, and so that's why I love this passage of scripture right now, and the illustration when I think of my son, because um, Jesus Christ is sufficient in our weakness. All right, so my grace is sufficient. The grace is a gift that we don't deserve, and God gives us his sufficiency in our weakness. So the second one, the second point, is my strength is made perfect in weakness. So... <laughs> You know, we don't like to admit our weaknesses. We don't like to admit our struggles. Me, um, I am very impatient, if anyone knows me well. Um, and there is a lot of things I have to be patient with, with learning this technology and trying to figure out all these things. Um, and I'm very nervous with doing these live videos. Um, but the Lord is giving me strength and helping me do this and handle it and face it and 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 do this so so this is what i think my strength is made perfect in weakness this is what i think the weaker i am the weaker you are right or the weaker we feel then the more god will give us strength so that he can shine through you and he can shine through me so the weaker we are the more strength Jesus Christ can be for you and me. And we can show the world God's love. So if you're like, oh, I'm struggling or I have a problem or I got an issue or whatever it may be, Jesus Christ is sufficient. Jesus Christ is your strength. And the weaker you are and the more that you admit it and depend on him and trust him, the stronger he will shine through you and help you overcome anything. So no matter how thick that stick is, Jesus can break it. No matter how hard you got to throw something, Jesus can do it. Right? Amen? Amen. All right. I know some of y'all said amen just now. <laughs> All right. Three. Three. Here we go. Third point. Take pleasure is what it says in this verse. Take pleasure. What? Are you crazy? Take pleasure in weakness? Take pleasure in insults. Yeah, yeah, I like to have some insults. I want to have some pleasure. I need some insults. Uh, catastrophes, which we're in one right now, right? This coronavirus, COVID-19, 
So take pleasure in catastrophes. Take pleasure in persecutions. When I think of that, it's just, just crazy. But this is why. Why take pleasure in problems? Why take pleasure in all these things? Because Jesus, it's not a problem to him. For Jesus, he's the solution maker, right? Jesus is the problem solver, right? So we can take pleasure in the catastrophe, in the insults, in the persecution, in the struggles, and the problems. Why? Because we know that Jesus Christ is our strength. We know he's sufficient. We know that he is going to supply grace, and we can endure it all as we trust him Depend on him and focus on him because he's going to shine through you. He's going to shine through me and he's going to help us no matter how much we struggle with technology, no matter how nervous we are on making these live videos, no matter whatever you're going through personally or I'm going through, we know that Jesus Christ is going to solve it because he is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. We just celebrated Easter and he rose from the dead and it says that the same power that is in Jesus Christ is in me, isn't in you. And so that can shine through us in our weakness. So don't worry about your weakness. Don't worry about the struggle. Don't worry about tomorrow. Just like Elaine's devotion that was this past week. And Gail's devotions were awesome. If you haven't seen those, go watch those on YouTube or on this Facebook Live. And I'm telling you, Jesus' power is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. We can trust him. We can depend on him because he is awesome. And Jesus is sufficient in our weakness. So... That's what I want to encourage you with. Just a simple little devotional to understand that Jesus is sufficient in your weakness and that we can take pleasure in this fact that we are weak because he is the problem solver. He is our solution and we can trust him. We can obey him. We can follow him. We can seek him. So get into the scriptures. Maybe read these passages in 2 Corinthians. The previous couple of verses talk about the thorn in the flesh. You can dig into that deeper. And talk about that and, and do a devotional um, on you version. Um, you can do it in small groups and get on Zoom or however way you like it. But I really want to challenge you and encourage you to get into the Word because I'm telling you, I am loving that I have more time in my Bible right now. So I like to pray with you. Um, and I hope that when you feel weak and when you struggle this week or struggle any time that you remember this verse that the truth that Jesus Christ's strength is perfect in your weakness and that you can depend upon him and you can trust him so let's pray dearly father god i just praise you so much for your word that we can depend upon its truth that god you Reveal to us everything that we need to do. And the most important thing right now, God, that you've taught me is that no matter how weak I am, no matter how much I struggle, no matter how I feel, if I'm nervous or stressed or confused, God, that I know I can trust you and depend on you because you are my strength. You are sufficient. I pray every single person watching this daily devotional, watching this video, God, I pray that they just feel your Holy Spirit God, that your grace will bless them, that they, you will reveal to them that you are sufficient for them. And that no matter what they're going through, if it's an insult, if it's a catastrophe, if it's a persecution, if it's a problem, God, I pray that you will reveal to them through your strength, through your sufficiency, that they can endure through it because you will continually be with them. You'll never leave them for a second. God, we praise you for that, God. We praise you for being with us during this catastrophe. We pray, God, for all the nurses and doctors who are caring for people. We praise you, God, for all the people who have been sick. There's thousands of people who've gotten this virus of coronavirus, and they have overcome it. And, Lord, your grace has been sufficient, and they have healed, and they're out of the hospital and doing better. God, we praise you for every single person that's gotten off a ventilator this week and been able to go home and leave the hospital. God, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. And, God, I pray that you help us to depend on you and trust you because your strength is sufficient in our weakness. In Christ's holy and precious name, all God's people said,
In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So uh, check out our YouTube videos. Go to our website if you want to see any updates with what's going on at the church. Jesus loves you. So do I.